I am a fan of the show now. I live in the States, so I don't get it over there, but I've been watching loads of episodes on uh, YouTube and I really enjoy it. We love the show with my family. Kids watch it, husband watches it. I love it. If you ask me if I'm any good at the program, I would say no. I said it's been long enough. I've watched many celebrities go on. I'm thinking, surely I won't do that badly. Let's give it a whirl. Ironically, as soon as I work on telly, I don't actually get to see a lot of telly. I do, though, catch the occasional chase. I like a quiz. I love a quiz. Oh, well, I, was in the, I was in the pub last night and suddenly there was a quiz that started, which we didn't even realise. So I love quizzes. I hope I might be alright at the sport. It'd be a bit embarrassed if I'm not. Uh, history, geography, I love all that. Current affairs, politics. Not too bad on food, although we got the expert in Greg, so I don't need to worry about that. Food and drink. Not really very good on, on, on you know, uh, Game of Thrones and Love Island and all that malarkey. I think I've got a pretty good, broad, general knowledge, but it all depends on the questions. Like, I've watched previous episodes of The Chase, and one episode I'm banging out all the answers, I'm like, yeah, I've got this, and then the next episode, nothing. So I've got no idea what I'm bringing to the team. Mm. Might be good, might be bad, might be average. No idea. That's what's so terrifying. The categories I think I'm most comfortable with are history, and maybe literature. Do you know what I'm no good at at all? I'm absolutely no good at pop music. What do I think I'll be good at? You know, I'm hoping my sport doesn't let me down. You know, there are occasions where you think you know the answer, but you give the wrong date, um, if you get the surname uh, or the first name. Um, I'd like to think that my, my food and drink isn't too bad. Um, and I'm hoping my general knowledge is, is not gonna let me down. The chase I most prefer to get is Paul because I've come across him uh, in radio at, at Five Live uh, where I worked for a long time and he did some stuff. And he loves his cricket, I love my cricket, so he'd be, I think he'd be trying the, the good sledging tactics to try and unsettle me, a bit of mental disintegration as the Aussies call it. So I'd like to get Paul. I think I'd love to get Paul Sinner only because we, he's a comedian, stand-up comic like me, so we've done shows together. So I'm hoping if we got him, He'd show me a little mercy, or the next time we do a show together, I'll heckle him from backstage. If I had a choice of chaser, I think I'd like Sean. He's got the same surname as me, and he's got a bald head and glasses. Do you know the difference between my bald head and glasses and Sean's? I make it look good. The chaser I definitely don't want is Mark. He is strong at everything. He's really good across the board. Um, scary look, menacing, might turn me to stone. I don't really know the people on my team, but chatting to them in the green room, you know, I think we might have a wide spectrum of knowledge. If we can all get through and all stay together, I think we might do all right. Uh, I think I've got a pretty good team, which is good, because I'm probably going to be the weak link. Mark and Denise, they're going to be great on sports, so let's hope we get loads of sports questions. And Greg is going to be good on food and everything else, because he seems, he's bald, he's got glasses, that means he must know stuff. Me? I'm going to try and catch a couple of questions and anything in between, anything music, not before the 1960s though, anything from the 80s, yeah, just the 80s, any music from the 80s and 90s I've got, anything else, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be pulling up the rear of the team.